Mr. President, the candidates are assembled. Morning. Today we're gathered in formal convocation to celebrate the 247th commencement exercises of Purdue University. Please rise and join Eric Gilbertson in singing our national anthem, then remain standing for the invocation offered today by Lieutenant Colonel T.J. Jenny, Chaplain, ROTC. Join me in a moment of prayer. Gracious God, thank you for this time to celebrate this milestone of achievement. We thank you for parents and grandparents, family and friends, teachers and mentors who have encouraged this journey. We pray your blessing on this moment of celebration and all the hard work that has gone into making today possible. We also pray for the future of every person graduating today. May all of us strive to use our gifts and talents for the betterment of all as we continue the journey to make our community our country and our world a better, more inclusive and just world. Help us reach high for the stars, but stay grounded in the things that matter most. And let us treasure the joy of the journey and the love of others. We pray this in the name of the Most High. Amen.
and gentlemen, it's my great privilege to extend a very cordial welcome to all who've joined us for this 247th commencement ceremony at Purdue University. Before introducing the members of the platform party, I'd like to ask you to recognize the representatives of our distinguished faculty who are with us here today. Will our faculty members please stand? Representing the Board of Trustees of Purdue University, we have with us Joanne Briette of Lafayette, Sean Taylor of Sugarland, Texas. And representing the Purdue University Administration, Jay Ackridge, Provost and Executive Vice President for Academic Affairs and Diversity, Christina Wong Davis, Vice Provost for Enrollment Management, Teresa Mayer, Executive Vice President for Research and Partnerships. Elisa Christmas Rollick, Vice President for Ethics and Compliance. Karen Plout, Dean of the College of Agriculture. Philip Van Fossen, Interim Dean, College of Education. Mark Lundstrom, Interim Dean, College of Engineering. Linda Mason, the Dean of our Graduate School. James Moeller, Associate Dean, Graduate School and Research Integrity Officer. Marion Underwood, Dean of our College of Health and Human Sciences. David Rheingold, Dean, College of Liberal Arts. David Hummels, Dean, Craner School of Management. Eric Barker, Dean, College of Pharmacy. Daniel Castro, Dean, Polytechnic Institute. Lucy Flesch, Senior Associate Dean at the College of Science. Willie Reed, Dean, College of Veterinary Medicine. Roseanne Allstott, Associate Dean of the Honors College. Catherine Sermershine, uh, Dean of Students and Associate Vice Provost, and Brian Leung, Vice Chair of the University Senate and our Grand Marshal this morning. Also, Don Louts, Teaching Academy member. Please join me in thanking these individuals. We're also pleased to have with us on the platform some vitally important members of the university family. Michael Rakowski and Lindsay Peralt are public orators. Kim Fournier and Myron Yoder are sign language interpreters. Thank them for bringing their expertise with, to the stage this morning. It's now my pleasure to introduce today's guest commencement speaker, Purdue alumnus, Paul Kearns. Paul has served as director of the U.S. Department of Energy's Argonne National Laboratory since 2017. In that role, he manages a growing multidisciplinary science and engineering research center with a $1.2 billion diversified portfolio and more than 3,300 employees, 8,000 facility users, and 800 visiting researchers. A biologist with three degrees from Purdue, Paul is an accomplished steward of diverse scientific resources designed to achieve ambitious goals in energy, environment, and national security. His resume includes five years as an executive with Battelle Global Laboratory Operations and 10 years with the De Energy Department's Idaho National Engineering and Environmental and Pacific Northwest National Laboratories. Before taking the helm at Argonne near Chicago, he served as the Federal Laboratory's Chief Operations Officer from 2010 to 2017. Paul has a doctorate and a master's degree, both from Purdue, in bionucleonics, which examines the biological application of nuclear technology. He received a bachelor's degree from Purdue in natural resources and environmental sciences. In March, Purdue honored him with the John E. Christian Distinguished Alumnus Award from the College of Health and Human Sciences. He and his wife, Lynn, have three children and four grandchildren. We are so privileged to welcome a remarkable Boilermaker home and hear from him on this most special day. Please welcome Dr. Paul Kearns. Thank you very much, uh, President Daniels and Purdue for inviting me to help uh, celebrate today's graduates. This is a joyous occasion and I could not be more honored than to deliver the commencement speech here from the same stage where I received my diplomas. I returned to campus several times in recent years, and with each visit, I marvel at how it has changed since I was a student. 
Among the new facilities that caught my attention are the Drug Discovery Building, the Nanotechnology Center, a center for entrepreneurship, and the Hall of Biomedical Engineering. Somehow, even Mackey Arena has matured into the Mackey Complex. You may suspect that I'm longing for the way things were, but I'm not. Quite the opposite. I see the university's investment in teaching, research, and collaborative space, and I'm thrilled. Purdue's vision for that future is reflected in how it has changed since I studied here. The campus has evolved to mirror the advancements of business, technology, and our world. The growth is remarkable. It serves the best interest of the students, the community, and society. I commend President Daniels and the university administration for the hard work of leading change. They have advanced innovative educational programs through an exciting vision and have provided the facilities needed to realize that vision. They have been stewards for a special place of history, traditions, and above all, achievement. Despite the change on campus, they have retained the foundational character and spirit of Purdue. I am confident that the university they lead has prepared you for a meaningful life, just as it did for me. I suggest, in fact, their stewardship of Purdue is a model we can apply to our personal quest for long-term success. Argonne National Laboratory faced similar challenges. Uh, while not as old as the university, we've made comparable investments and adjustments to achieve our mission in a shifting world. In 1946, the lab was established to develop peaceful uses for nuclear power following World War II. By the time I joined it in the 1980s, Argonne was diversifying its research portfolio. Uh, to, to, uh, to its focus uh, really uh, to focus more on discovery science and the development of advanced uh, technologies, especially those solving problems for energy and industry. Fast forward to 2022, uh, we have expanded even more and lead initiatives in supercomputing, hard X-ray sciences, artificial intelligence, quantum information radioisotope discovery for medical, isotope, or medical treatments, microelectronics, and much more. The unifying presence of all of our work is that we accelerate the science and technology that drive U.S. prosperity and security. To accomplish this, we use a lab structure that allows for specialization, collaboration, and innovation. Argonne is divided into directorates that encourage research across disciplines. Recognizing that the factors that affect Argonne's mission have shifted, I knew the laboratory had to become more adaptable as well. I, I've learned that the path to a goal is really direct and reinvention is essential along the way. When Argonne was founded, the major threats to humanity were war and disease, and both are still making headlines today. But also our health and prosperity are at risk from extreme weather, heat waves, floods, and fa uh, fires threaten our homes, farms, and forests. We can address climate change through innovative energy technologies, the development of resilient infrastructure, and a better understanding of impact mitigation. To meet these new challenges, which are squarely within Argonne's long-term goals, the lab needed to adapt. So we recently created two new directorates, uh, one focused on advanced energy technologies and the other on nuclear technologies and national security. Such a large restructuring is a significant change, not in our goals, but in the path we take to reach them. This step requires significant institutional courage, taking risks to redirect and refocus as necessary. But, uh, but I believe that it could be the key to our success. While this new focus aligns with Argonne's mission, it also connects with my personal one as well. I've had a long interest in and concern for the environment, uh, sparked by reading Rachel Carson's uh, Silent Spring as a teenager and nurtured throughout my explorations along the Wabash River during my Purdue days. Uh, last year, I attended the United Nations Climate Change Conference, uh, COP26, where the global community came together to enhance our commitment to improving the environment. I've seen the movements calling for decarbonization and energy justice. We are making progress, but more can be done. Since Argonne and the other national laboratories are America's scientific engine, we must play a part in this once-in-a-lifetime transition in the global energy system. And it will be your generation that will drive the solutions for a more sustainable, healthy tomorrow. My generation had the best of intentions, but has not been able to accomplish as much as we wanted or the world needs. I know we leave a heavy burden. I don't have all the answers, but I have found that a large part of success is the ability to adapt. When I graduated, I never would have imagined the course of my career, 
the great prospects that have taken me around the world and back home to the Midwest. After earning my degree at Purdue, I started as a health protection specialist at Argonne. I was drawn to scientific discovery and embraced the stewardship of scientific resources. Over time, I challenged myself with other positions. I let my curiosity guide me from the United Nations National Nuclear Laboratory to Patel Memorial Institute subsidiary working with the government of Italy to Pacific Northwest National Laboratory and Idaho National Engineering and Environmental Laboratory. Eventually, I jumped at the chance to serve as Argonne's Chief Operations Officer. I remember the, uh, the lab's outstanding reputation from my earlier time at Argonne. After seven years, I was named uh, the honor, uh, had the honor of being named the laboratory director. And now, in addition to my work delivering uh, the science and technology of Argonne focused on solving some of the world's biggest problems, I also promote U.S. scientific leadership across the world. It is the pinnacle of my career. It would not happen without what I learned at Purdue. I am ever grateful. I say this because of three formative traits that our university instills in all of us. And what proved to be uh, invaluable to me professionally and personally are a foundation and a calling. For me, that is science. A supportive network, including the lifelong friends that you found here. Connections make us stronger. May your friendships never lack. And lastly, a constant drive for ongoing education and improvement, the bedrock for embracing change and thriving. We must never stop improving ourselves, reaching for new understanding. My advice to you is this, trust that your education has prepared you for your career's path, not the destination. Like the university itself, adapt to the times as you grow. The world will be surprisingly different 10 years from now. Like the laboratory I lead, uh, stick to your mission, but embrace new ways to fulfill it. And perhaps like me, invest in work that fulfills and excites you, whether it leads you around the world or back to where you started. You may believe that having a clear picture of where you want to end up is most important, and it can be helpful, but I'd argue that you really can't envision your endpoint until you've explored a bit. So wander bravely, knowing that Purdue has prepared you for the path. To the graduates, uh, some of you may not know where you want to go after graduation, and I would say that is okay. Even if you do, your plans may change and life may take a different direction, which should be exciting. At the risk of being the ceremonies, Purdue Pete, I will be cheering you on. I'm confident that the transformations you pioneer will be extraordinary. You will receive remarkable developments, breakthroughs that will change the world and make it better for everyone. And what will allow you to lead will your ability to anticipate, welcome, and respond to your changing world. The unexpected is an opportunity. Adaptability will be your strength. And I know from my experience that Purdue has positioned you for future success. The Purdue legacy of higher education remains stronger than ever, and it has prepared you to reach your fullest potential. I want to acknowledge that none of you have done this on your own. Your family and friends have lifted you up, your classmates challenged you, and Purdue faculty and staff have been role models and mentors. University leadership has consistently asked for the best from all of you. Uh, President Daniels, with just months left in your tenure, I suggest your legacy is visible before us. You have set them on their path, and they are ready. Thank you again, and congratulations to the class of 2022. Hail Purdue.
President, the candidates for the Doctor of Nursing Practice degree will be presented by Marion K. Underwood, Dean of the College of Health and Human Sciences. Will the candidates for the Doctor of Nursing Practice degree please rise? Mr. President, these candidates have fulfilled the professional requirements of the curriculum of the have fulfilled the requirements of the professional curriculum of the College of Health and Human Sciences. With the approval of the faculty, they are now presented to you to receive their Doctor of Nursing Practice degree. Thank you, Dean Underwood. Exercising the authority of the trustees of Purdue University, legally vested by the people of the state of Indiana and upon the recommendation of the faculty. I now confer upon you the Doctor of Nursing Practice degree with all the rights, privileges, duties, and responsibilities of that degree. As evidence of your achievement, you will now be vested with the hood of the Doctor of Nursing Practice and receive an appropriately inscribed diploma. Doctor of Nursing Practice candidates, please come forward to receive your diploma. Claire Johanna Allen. <laughs> Hannah Ann Small. Jennifer Brower. <laughs> Margaret E. Campbell. <laughs> Taylor Hendricks. Pamal Carr. Grace Madwicke. Kayla Meeks. Irina Patterson. Caitlin Perkins. Jessica Patres. President, the candidates for the Doctor of Pharmacy degree will be presented by Eric L. Barker, Dean of the College of Pharmacy. Will the candidates for Doctor of Pharmacy please rise? Mr. President, these students have successfully fulfilled the requirements of the professional curriculum in the College of Pharmacy. With the approval of the faculty, they are presented to you to receive the Doctor of Pharmacy degree. Dean Barker. 
exercising the authority of the trustees of Purdue University, legally vested by the people of the state of Indiana, and upon the recommendation of the faculty, I now confer upon you the Doctor of Pharmacy degree with all the rights, privileges, duties, and responsibilities of that degree. As evidence of that achievement, you will now be vested with the hood of the Doctor of Pharmacy and receive an appropriately inscribed diploma. Doctors of Pharmacy, please come forward to receive your diplomas and doctoral hoods. Cameron Davis Bollinger. Regina Solomito. President, the candidates for master's degrees will be presented by Linda J. Mason, Dean of the Graduate School. Will the candidates for the master's degree please rise? Mr. President, these students have successfully fulfilled the requirements of the master's degree. With the approval of the faculty, they are now presented to you to receive the master's degree. Dean Mason. Exercising the authority of the trustees of Purdue University, legally vested by the people of the state of Indiana, and upon the recommendation of the Purdue faculty, I now confer upon you the master's degree with all the rights, privileges, duties, and responsibilities of that degree. As evidence of your achievement, you will now receive an appropriately inscribed diploma. I now invite the marshals to escort all students who are earning master's degrees to the platform. In order to respect everyone's opportunity to hear their name called, please refrain from applauding and cheering for your candidate until all names have been called. Sarah McGregor. College of Agriculture, Barinto Abdu Shakur. Ashley Ann Macy. Chintia Archaria. Rohan Malhotra. <laughs> Shubham Agarwal. Karandeep Mahan. Talika Agarwal. Nathan Manipuli. Nosheen Sayaru Aman. Aaron Moran. Olatutu J. Akinpulu. Nathan Marine. Emmanuel Alegbe. Justin Martin. Joe Brian Alanis. Brooke Martindale. Vishnu Harden Reddy Alla. Letitia Martinez. Ashley Alt. Morgan Mason. Pranav Anand. Vebab Mathur. Rishad Anand. Harith Morgan. Grace Anderson. 
Jorge Mora Garzon. John Anderson. Parth Paresh Mao. Aman Ansari. Miranda McGuire. Brian Armas. Heather McKinsey. Aishvarya Dharani Arup. Paola Medina Monsanto. Amar Zarif Azuin. Nikita Mila. Oyili Bagshi. Logan Metzger. Utkarshish Bajaj. Clayton Michael Butler. Usman Bawaj. Colin Miller. Pravalika Balashander. Heather Miller. Jotishman Banerjee. Jordan Mills. Sagar Baraunia. Morgan Montgomery. Jacob Barkowitz. Justin Moritz. Salah Abdullah Basaman. Napika Mortha. Sienna Bates. Lakshmina Rayana Sudhendra Sarma Madradi. Devansh Patra. Shufi Magal. Lily Burlstein. Shriya Musunuru. Samantha Burno. Prane Negrani. Kayla Diane Byer. Sang Tong Yang. Shraddha Bala. Yvonne No. Aman Bargava. Chu Ching Ni. Somaya Batraju. Molly Nichols. Rupal Balea. Owen Willette. Jalen Birch. Braden Painter. Ricky Blair. Sung Young Pak. Sayanudeep Badaboa. Abby Palomo. Karthik Bodapati Venkata. Newman Pandey. Michael Burrill. Padma Priya Paneer Selvam. Michaela Deandra Bowen. Megan Park. Aaron Lucas Bowman. Keith Pate. Jacob Brown. Shriya Patil. Julian Brillon. Matthew Curdo. Janine Louise Bryan. Fernando Perez Yeda Pasqual Sabrera. Marissa Bryan. Alexander Plummer. Seth Byerly. Mark Pollard. Jenna Calvity. Liliana Paldo. Marissa Cannon. Victoria Witherby Pop. Bria Carlson. Hunter Priesel. George Carroll. Barat Puna. Kirk Kastner. Carolina Kionis Colon. Shauradeep Chakrabarti. Gabrielle Robb. Aymant Chalagola. Kumar Rahul. Wairimu Chege. Male Kumar Rai. Yachi Chia. Ajit Rajendran. Wernjer Chiong. Emmanuel Ravichandar. Isha Kathe. William Raymer. Subashri Chowdhury. Andrew Reeder. Jason Coldiron. Monica Richmond. Frankie Lynn Collette. Laura Roa Gonzalez. Juliette Colon Bilbrow. Jill Robison. Chandipa Kure. Sarah Mulu Robso. <laughs> Christian James Coping. <laughs> Luis Fernando Rodriguez. Frederick Corbin. Eduardo Rodriguez Vega. Grant Cox. Cassandra Rosake. Caroline Kudal. Aditya Roy Chowdhury. Yuvraj Daga. Snigda Radula. Prayerna Das. Kimberly Ruiz. Arpen Dada. Matthew Russen. Shanak Deshpande. Peter Shepka. Marley Desplinter. Sri Kailash Ravichandar. Vinay Krishna Divu Lapali. Gauri Mathur. Diana Lee Dio. Vanessa Santana. Sheen Dar. 
Sanjana Santana Krishnan. Laura Deepay Atro. Surya Satyamurthy. Nazim Ronald Donawa, Jr. Jenna Saval. Malcolm Dotson. Megan Schaefer. Heather Jean Droll. Jeffrey Schiller. Joshua Dooley. Eden Skipper. Hannah Dolsky. Chandra Vadan Samanini. Hannah Dwyer. Lena Schroeder. Anna Edmiston. Muriel Schrader. Rachel Ephraimson. Zachary Serber. Bethany Evans. Abhishek Shaw. Kevin Izzo. Maroque Shaw. Quotu Fan. Serena Schonbog. Caitlin Ferris. Manadeep Sharma. Shelby Claire Favalora. Makul Sharma. Michael Ferguson. Camilo Fernandez de Soto. Kai Cha Shen. Samantha Ferry. Shivam Shetty. Emma Feinerfrock. Shui Chen Shi. Amber Forbes. Carl Schrum. Rachel Fraser. Bidrupa Sinha. Francesco Fuentes. Megan Skripka. Ryan Funk. Jordan Richardson. Jennifer Furlong. Shira Shinde. Elizabeth Garcia Lesso. Sunil Shinkar. Harish Reddy Gava. Drew Srivastav. Heather George. Upurva Singh. Casey Gibson. Nalan Singh. Manandeep Gill. Esti Sin. Kimberly Goringer. Jonathan Sintin. Maite Gomez. Stephanie Slater Roberts. Angela Gonzalez Angelus. Adrian Sloan. Violet Williams. Thomas Smith. Taranesh Gotlaseth. Shaitan Solanki. Shubham Goyanka. Tatiana Suto. Matthew Gozan. Shona Speciale. Vasila Gracia. Lohita Srinivasan. Shamaku Greets. Aman Srivastava. Simran Grewal. Alexander Stepanovich. Tanushri Gupta. Andrew Stetler. Claire Halfley. Thomas Stordy. Joseph Halaka. Kehan Sarab. George Hamilton. Suyash Sukhankar. Andrew Han. Brian Summers. Gamil Hanna. Savannah Sims. Gokul Harindranath. Raghav Taparia. Haley Hartenstein. Benjamin Taylor. Shubham Hasija. Lindsay Haskins Taylor. Stephanie Hathaway. Ta Tiffany Taylor. Joshua Hattery. Sadeepta Singh. Christopher Hawkins. Sarah Tarharlion. Adam Heike. Tamara Laefa Timian. Jean Michel Hendricks. Anupum Tiwari. Ryan Barrett Hennessy. David Toth. Jacob Hudson. Jacinda Towers. Chi Sung Hung. Ashley from Utolo. Asid Hussain. Ray Young Chow. Sohail Hussain. Aditya Uma Mahesh. Christopher Yakaboni. Kristen Van Gilst. Rachel Imel. Shatij Verdi. Ogititen Ojis Pinonoje. Lakshe Borha. Aaron Eisen. Fahim Borha. Vinud Ayer. Priyo Vipul Bora. Catherine Yeager. 
Dede Wabwenda. Shriyansh Jain. Lauren Waddington. Akshay Jayan. Nitesh Wog. Yinghui Cha. Yifei Wong. Tabitha Johnson. Yu Ray Wong. Matthew Jones. Christian Washburn. Amea Jumde. Hope Wasson. Jim Kanani. Kristen Waterbury. Raja Sanjay Kapoor. Ming Xu Wei. Austin Keene. Brandon Wells. Vinay Kinney. Jared West. Raleigh Killen. Sarah Wigington. Daniel Klinger. <laughs> Ransarini Wijaratna Fernando. Emmeline Clute. Christian Will Pinto. Daria Korasawala. Natalia Williams. Radha Krishna Korla. Jacob Wilson. Aditya Kuthari. Michael Wojcik. Siddharth Krishnamurthy. Scott Wolfson. Melissa Kuchar. Ellen Wright. Todd Kugler. Patrick Wright. Tejas Kulkarni. Boning Young. Claire Kuypers. Candace Young. Naveen Kumaran Kumar. Jiayu Zhang. Jin Kwanandar. Xing Zhang. Bori Lai. Guan Yu Zhu. William Zumu. Reeve David Lambert. Pranoy Bhattacharya. Shakya Maldam Iganagani. Rajarshi Biswas. Mackenzie Lada. Porna Krishnamurthy Narsimhan. David LeClaire. Bukyang Li. Julie Jian Li. Ushua Li. Soon Min Li. Roberto Nares Alcala. Nicholas Linfesti. Nathanian Kotha. Marissa Levincron. Rishab Sharma. Jason Lavour. Jin Wu Xiao. Juan Pablo Loaiza Ramirez. Vincent Valbuena. Tammy Lynn Lockman. Yi Bo Zhang. Carly Lockren. Hui Hui Zhang. James Love Jr. Hui Hui Huang. Ren Yuan Lao. Apurva Raghundrandan. Samantha Likens. Rohan Das. Sarah Lyons. Today is the first Saturday of the month. Tima will be testing the outdoor warning sirens at 11 a.m. Yishuan Lu. Darlin Hammond. Pratyusha Gajavali. Pooja Gupta. Gagan Pahuja. Padma Thwaiti. Nidhi Bendi. Jean Paul Aya Karamye. Lucer Izquierdo Munoz. Jose San Martin Galindo. Rohit Sowens. At this point in the program, we want to give special recognition to those graduates who have demonstrated outstanding scholastic achievement. In your program, you will 
Find the names of the graduates who have earned an honors designated degree by completing the requirements of the Purdue Honors College, along with the criteria for awarding degrees with highest distinction and distinction. Will those graduates who are candidates from the Honors College please stand? Next, will those candidates, graduates who are candidates for the honor of highest distinction, please stand and remain standing. And now, will graduates who are candidates for the honor of distinction, please stand and join them. We'd also like to recognize those graduates who accomplished the monumental task of balancing their equally ac demanding academic and athletic commitments. You'll find our student athletes listed in the program. Will those graduates who have earned the student athlete medallion please stand? On behalf of the trustees and the faculty, congratulations on these accomplishments. We're counting on you to continue making exceptional contributions in all your future endeavors. Please be seated. Mr. President, I am pleased to present the candidates for baccalaureate and associate degree. Candidates, please stand as I call your college or school and remain standing. College of Agriculture. College of Education. <laughs> College of Engineering. <laughs> College of Health and Human Sciences. <laughs> College of Liberal Arts. School of Management. <laughs> College of Pharmacy. <laughs> Polytechnic Institute. <laughs> College of Science. and the College of Veterinary Medicine. <laughs> Mr. President, these students have successfully fulfilled the requirements of the undergraduate curricula in their respective college or school. With the approval of the faculty, they are now presented to you to receive the appropriate degree. Exercising the authority of the trustees of Purdue University, legally vested by the people of the state of Indiana, and upon the recommendations of the faculty. I now confer upon you the appropriate degree with all the rights, privileges, duties, and responsibilities of that degree. As evidence of your achievement, you will now receive an appropriately inscribed diploma. Please be seated. I invite the marshals to escort all students who are earning baccalaureate and associate degrees to the platform. In order to respect everyone's opportunity to hear the name called, please refrain from applauding and cheering for your candidate until all the names have been called. Thank you. The College of Education. Madison Powers. Cassidy Hicks. College of Agriculture, Leah Coughlin. Madison Umloff. Michaela Alva. The College of Health and Human Sciences. 
Hunter David McDonald. Carly Beck. Katie Alexander. Connor Brescia. Kylie Alexander. Amber Cripps. Haley Ayers. Chloe Dobson. Elijah Ball. Audrey Ellis. Kartik Bondel. Carmen Greiner. Bridget Benson. Candace Krupp. Jonna Billman. Josephine Lawrence. Dakota Brandenburg. Stephanie Martinez Morales. Savannah Brown. Andrew Matthews. Ashlyn Burns. Liliana Moebly. Danny Chang. Michaela Moore. Hannah Coates. Aisha Salazar. Cole Cooper. Emily Sepko. Lauren Costello. Samantha Silverthorne. Kate Shea. Jamil St. Hilaire. Chevana Douglas. Lillian Sturkey. Carly Fiddler. Carter Stevenson. Claudia Fierro. Nicia Terry. Ruben Foley. Alejandro Villarreal. Tia Freshhauer. College of Engineering. Eric Holm. Shayna Godfrey. Troy Barlow. Christian Guadalajara Avila. Maxwell Barnaby. Gannon Gwynn. Leon Bawitla. Reagan Head. Colin Campbell. Madeline Henley. Elizabeth Chatton. Savannah Holland. Lahari Chitori. Jillian Hoversland. Chase Clifford. James Chow. Aiden Dove. Michaela Huffman. Camille Elbayar. Alex Hughes. Ziki Fang. Donovan Jennings. Elizabeth Funkhauser. Jasmine Johnson. Aryan Godgi. Ivan Galia Kaplanis. David Gormley. Rachel Kerner. Kevin Grimes. William Kwong. Jack Horn. Catherine Lashley. Rafe Imran. Anna Maria Leschinska. Richard Johnson. Philip Lee. Macaulay Canapel. Janessa Love. Alexandria Kepko. Emily Lomassi. William Kelly. Grace Lynch. Nathaniel Kerr. Erica. Erica Marsh. Aiden Leard. Destiny Matthews. Diego Leone. Bridget McFarland. Andrea Levinson. Luis Santiago Nahar. Hungbo Lu. Grace Nettleton. Zoha Lu. Alexis Nikolovsky. Shahir Mustafa Malik. Chris Philipson. Patrick Monsoor. Andriana Plummer. Mina Mother. Michael Joseph Price. Trip McCree. Jacob Quillen. Julius Mesa. Michaela Ramsey. Samuel McNevich. Patricia Arendulia. Insura Nizer Ashen. Athancios Cortino. Jesse Amonde. Alexa Schrader. Aaron Park. Sophia Seal. Leon Petrulio. Olivia Shaw. Christopher Prabacher. Haley Ship. Daniel Ramirez. Kara Schreider. Zachary Ramirez Icaza. Gavin Christopher Skratsky. Samuel Rothschild. Camry Smith. Kavarjit Sagar. Rachel Smith. Damian Straga. Riley Smith. Albert Sun. Stephanie Solner. Justin Sweeney. Taylor Stapleton. 
James Tolbert. Olivia Stewart. Matthew Toad. Kevin Thomas. Sarah Wagner. Lauren Townsend. Lynette Tiana. Robert Veneer. Peter Jew. Brooks Wade. Chasan Thaway. Megan Wagner. Shaiwen Jo. Katarina Walker. School of Management. Caleb Van Hoosier. Ehan Wong. Andrew Adams. Megan Went. Sarah Bielski. Hannah Jo Will. Alexander Bispum. Mary Wright. Matthew Chan. Nathan Simmons. Kyle Diaz. Samuel Gillette. Ty Handley. The College of Liberal Arts. Bariha Afroz. Emery Harris. Isaac Angstadt. Selena Herrera. Sharon Ayala. Carson Coons. Mary Graham. Dylan Marfadia. Emma Hale. Karthike Pondir. Amir Harris. Nicholas Shell. Jace Jellison. Jenna Stevenson. Lawrence Johnson. Yuning Soon. <laughs> Amaya Car King. Carlos Urkuyu. <laughs> Jack Lamberson. <laughs> College of Pharmacy. Kade Kake. Roxanne Makolo. <laughs> College of Science. River Martin. Noah Hummel. Kyle McGaffick. John Ann. Madeline Ray Nix. Devin Blair. Ryan Nyarko. Samuel Brockschmidt. Luke Paul. Matthew Burkert. Julian Ramirez. Sarah Rose. Sanchitha Chakraborty. Alexa Russin. Hassan Choi. Tamara Shields. Benjamin Ernest. Dakiva Tindall. Batuhan Hakan. Madison Toth. Caitlin Harwood. Mitchell Yuchino. Jaden Martins. Carlos Zavala Zavala. Cole Mobius. Sanskriti Motwani. Adi. Dalton Mullins. Basil Mustaklin. Richard Mustaklin. Kavya Nagalakunta. Evan Overly. Madison Richards. The Polytechnic Institute. Ryan Vendel. Brett Riley. Samuel Bauer. Anirud Sila. Thomas Brackett. Jean Paul Stambaugh. Amani Brown. Anina Sun. Kelly Busher. Gonger Wong. Jackson Cole. Jenna Zeinj. Eliza Connolly. College of Veterinary Medicine. Shelley Raymer. John Cox. 
Madison Dowell. Lung Lung Ephraim. Riley Freeman. Anna Catherine Flood. Ashlyn Haley. Chad Grayler. Madison Kelly. Evan Harding. Victoria Malina. William Humphill. Madison Newcomer. Christopher James. Hannah Rowe. Leander Jung. Allison Sangwa Dolce. Jack Koopman. Sarah Whitaker. Scott Lindbergh. Alexander Luloff. Jared Oaken. Michael Plight. Jose Ruby. Luke Seamers. Kyle Sisk. Caleb Smith. Kyle Stevens. John Sullivan. Benjamin Swain. Cole Anthony Willis. Raymond Sung. Okay, it's official. You're now graduates of Purdue University. Congratulations. Now it's time for you to observe tradition by moving your tassel from the right side of the mortarboard to the left, signifying your new status. Congratulations again. We're here to honor these graduates for their hard work and accomplishments, but they'd be the first to acknowledge they did not make this journey alone. So, will the parents, the grandparents, spouses, brothers, sisters, other family members and friends who are with us please stand so these graduates can thank you for your long and loving support. This is the 69th anniversary of the university's cooperative education work-study program. In the commencement program, you will find the names of those students who have earned a certificate for the satisfactory completion of the co-op experience. And I also direct your attention uh, to the program where you will find the names of graduates who have been commissioned by the President of the United States as second lieutenants in the United States Army. You also may have noticed some of our graduates are wearing red, white, and blue cords. This signifies that they are veterans of the U.S. Armed Forces. Will those servicemen and women stand so we can recognize them? Let's take a moment to acknowledge the artistry of the commencement band with conductor Jonathan Sweet and our organist Jeffrey Stearns. Thank you both. <laughs> now permit me to introduce William Raymer, who was selected as today's student responder in recognition of his persistence and dedication. William is receiving a Master of Science degree in Industrial Engineering. and will continue as a PhD student at Purdue in the fall, and upon graduation, 
will serve as a space operations officer with the United States Space Force. Please welcome William Raymond. Thank you, President Daniels, for the introduction and a huge thanks for the support of our fellow classmates, staff, faculty, administrators, and the Board of Trustees. When I earned my undergraduate degree in mathematics and statistic composite from Utah State University, I remember many things about graduation day. And sadly, I cannot recall the words of wisdom shared by the commencement responder as I was thinking about the upcoming lunch with my family and friends. <laughs> Just in case you are like me and my words may not be memorable for you, I'll keep this short so that the post-commencement activities can begin. <laughs> Purdue University has empowered us with the necessary skills to be innovative and creative. I feel that it is then our responsibility to use these skills to serve our alma mater and improve our workplace, community, and ultimately, the world. The networks formed lay the foundation for who we are and how we implement our service and imp improvement plans. I pose a simple question for the graduates. Who are you? The answer will depend on which identity is currently showcased, whether you are focused on your role as a family member, student, student athlete, or your political, religious, socioeconomic status, nationality, or so many other identifiers. All the identifiers are correct. And today, the addition of a new identifier, as we have earned degrees from one of the most prestigious universities in the land that did not raise tuition for the last decade. <laughs> Whether you have earned an undergraduate, master's, or professional degree, we had many years of hard work and sacrifice during the one, two, four, or five plus years. My uncle would share an African proverb, Mokonti Yamalamu, Aliakangulu Yalitoi Mokote, which, which, translates, which translates a good leader does not eat a one-eared pig. <laughs> in other words, a good leader, when making an informed decision, will listen to both sides of the issue. I would like to believe that beyond earning a degree or adding to our identifiers, Purdue University has taught us how to be leaders and critical thinkers. In a world where we experience division based on social and political issues, along with a vast amount of information readily available from all types of sources, it becomes difficult to filter the accurate information to make a sound decision. The question then becomes, how can we filter the truth from everything we see and hear? As my uncle told me many years ago, actively listen. I believe as we put forth an effort to listen to each other's opinion, respectfully engage in dialogue, and work to understand each other outside of our networks, we will make decisions that are beneficial to and will serve humanity while improving our roles as innovators, creators, and leaders. Congratulations to the class of 2022. Boiler up, hammer down, and hell Purdue. Thank you.
so we conclude our commencement convocation. On behalf of the trustees, the faculty, and all the Purdue family, I bid you farewell and Godspeed. Lieutenant Colonel Jenny will offer the benediction. Please remain seated afterwards while the faculty and our new graduates recess. Gracious and loving God, thank you for this time of celebration. Now set our eyes on the future while helping us to treasure every moment in the present. Give us vision for a yet brighter future, strength to strive greatly, courage to overcome challenges, and help us to love and serve boldly. For this we pray your blessing as we go forth rejoicing. Amen. Go Boilers. <laughs>